YouTubers and today I'm going to show you how to make the Estes Alpha Rocket. Flying Model Rocket Kit number 1225. Here's one already finished. I'm actually not going to build one today. Here's one. I right, finished the Alpha Balsa Fin. It's not plastic and this is not the Alpha 3. There is an Alpha 3 out. I think this one's better because you get the experience of making the fins, sanding them down and all that stuff. But it's it's a pretty cool rocket. Basic rocket. Skill level one. What you need? You'll need some tape, a pencil, scissors, sandpaper, glue, and an exacto hobby knife. I have a a knife like this right now. Well, really don't want to use that. I wouldn't think, but yeah, it's all right. I get to work, or maybe use a jackknife or something. This is what the instructions look like. I'll get back here behind the camera so I can show you. Estes Alpha. Just kind of experimenting with this just to see if I can zoom in. That's what the instructions look like. And this is awful odd. They give you a whole separate book of instructions, which is kind of odd, but, you know, I don't know. Alright, I gotta in my... We made these in school. We had a launch day. And, um... So first, it says to go to instruction one. Instruction one, engine mount assembly. You'll need to, you will need the light. Actually, I'm not going to tell you what the instructions are, but I'm just going to tell you, um, So you've got to make your engine mount, which is, um, and then also it says to use a ruler, but you really don't have to, because if you open it up, it's got, it's not, probably not as good, but it's got inches and millimeters. And um, they measure it with both, I guess. You can either do inches or millimeters. I think it uses more millimeters, but anyways, you'll need to make the shock cord mount, um, which is basically just cutting a piece of paper out of this book right here. It's there's stuff in here that I had to cut out, and you'll have to. There's sections right on the piece of paper. It's basically just a paper you fold into three sections and you glue it as you're folding it. And you'll take it about a millimeter down or um let's see. Alright, I guess that really doesn't tell you what I was hoping it would tell you. But anyways, Ouch. then we move on to fin preparation. Which, balsa. You know, fins were in these. These are called the fins, body tube, engine mount, engine hook, nose cone. And I'm going to open the extra rocket up in a second. So you're going to have to cut the fins out, then you'll um, sand the fins down. I actually did something different than the book says. I did them one by one and made them round. Do not sand where the little 
holes are. See a little hole in there? Do not sand there. Sand only on this edge and this edge. Not these edges either. I don't know why you can't sand on this edge, but I guess you can't. Because that's what our teacher told us. And, and follow the instructions very carefully. Do not try to change it at all. Um, then you make your engine mount, or you do your engine mount installation. So you'll find the body tube, which is this. Measure approximately 38 millimeters, or one and a half inches, from one end of the body tube. Doesn't really matter, they're both symmetrical. Um, I mean, you build the whole thing from start, so this is all separate. None of this is glued on, so you can use either edge. And you use, you take your finger, or in this case it says, we didn't do this in school, but it says use um, scrap balsa wood. We didn't do that. About 30 eight millimeters down and push it down until this blue piece is flush with the outside which mine is and then you move on to tube making detail or marking not making marking which is this alpha and you got your fins launch slug and it says to use a door frame as um it says using this door frame as a guide draw straight lines connecting each pair of fin marks extend these lines 76 millimeters three inches along the tube dry one 102 millimeter four inch line along the tube for the launch lug. Launch lug is basically a straw. And then you'll attach your fins. What you want to do is you want to take these fins. You've got your Elmer's or what in this case at school we use wood glue. Like I said we're not building the rocket. I've already built it. I don't have another kit to build, so I'm just showing you basically. Um, we're going to take the fins wh where the little hole is, as I was talking to you about before, and you'll put that on the side. But first, you want to glue it, obviously, on the fin. And you want to start shaking these fins around in the air for about two minutes, and then you'll hold it for about two minutes. Or I think in school I held it for a little bit longer just to be safe. And then you'll, this nose cone won't be on or anything so you set it down straight and it'll balance. And you do the same with all the rest of the fins. And then you'll do your, what's separate on here? Um, Step six, so then you get step seven. Obviously, all you do is launch lug attachment, which should be 48 millimeters. Actually, I still got a line. My camera is 8.2 megapixels. Let's see if it'll show up. There's a line right there, and you'll measure, we're going to say 48, no, 44 millimeters from the end where your engine hook is. I have put that, that in. I can glue it and do the same thing. Oh, and then you reinforce everything. The next step is the, because you do this, I mean you spread this out over time. You don't do it all in one day. Because it wouldn't work, I don't think. It wouldn't really last. So you want to take this and, my teacher did this for us one night. So my science teacher, I'm in fifth grade and we have a science teacher for, we have a normal teacher and then a science teacher. Holy cow, I'm running out of time. So I uh, hope you'll enjoy your, I'll, uh, I'll make another video. I'm going to stop this one right now.
Bye.